Tini's got a crazy good, you know. Tell me why. In your mouth. Yes, every single day. Yum, yum, yum. Hey! What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. We're going to watch Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. Uh, so... Uh, okay, so this is a musical. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm positive this is a musical. Uh, it's it came through the city I live in like last year, I think, and I hesitated on getting tickets and I couldn't, so I didn't end up getting to see this. This will be the first time experiencing the music, the story, everything about this. I'm going in pretty blind. All I know is it's something to do with the with uh, Alexander Hamilton. Is that the right guy? Or is it Rip Hamilton of the Detroit Pistons? One of those two. It's either the story of America getting founded or it's the story of a dude shooting a bunch of three-pointers. Now, because this has so much music in it, which is no doubt copyrighted, uh, I'm going to have to edit this down quite a bit. But if you want a full-length reaction to this, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. That's where I'll be uploading the full-length reaction. And the other thing I know about this is uh, it's written, I think, by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is the uh, absolute genius behind... Encanto and Coco, which were the first two Disney Pixar movies that I ever watched on the channel. And boy, did I get spoiled on those first two movies because they were absolutely fantastic. I even did a reaction to Lin-Manuel Miranda and uh, uh, the guys from Always Sunny talking about the Nightman Cometh on their post, uh, on their postcard, on their podcast. <laughs> And I could tell just from listening to him talk about that episode, which is something that I absolutely love as well. I, I, I feel like he and I are on the same kind of frequency, just with humor and music and stuff like that. I got a lot of really uh, positive vibes from watching that interview with Lin-Manuel Miranda. So I'm going into this with my hopes very high. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's jump right in. This is Hamilton. Thank you and enjoy my show. So I'm not a history buff at all, so there might be some highbrow jokes that go way over my head. <laughs> Poverished and squalor, grow up to be a hero and a scholar. Alright, they got bars already. Inside he was longing for something to be a part of. The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, or barter. Damn man, that is that is tight. What's your name, babe? Alexander Hamilton. He's Linwell, here he is. It's Alexander Hamilton. Bed ridden, half dead, sitting in their own sick, the scent thick. And Alex got better, but his mother went quack. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm getting big Encanto vibes from this opening song. In New York, you can be a blue man. In New York, you can be a blue I feel like I'm actually learning a bit about this guy. <laughs> Humble beginnings, that's what I'm getting. That's interesting. Alexander Hamilton is a very melodic name. A lot of uh, syllables that go together really well throughout that. Great idea to use that as a line in the song. Just the name. Me, I love him. And me, I'm the damn fool that shot him. Oh. You murderer. Oh, it hasn't happened yet, I guess. Who's asking? Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir! Wow. A lot of use of the word sir in a rhyme and really well done. Smile more. Ah. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Oh, alright. Keep your cards close to your chest. Came from your father just to say bonsoir to the king to the twelve. We's the best. Say more. Stand for nothing, Burr. What'll you fall for? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who is this here? What's he? This is Alexander Hamilton. You better recognize. <laughs> I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage I've learned to manage I don't have a gun to brandish I walk these streets famished Man, this is what happens when somebody grows up on hip-hop from a very young age <laughs> This happens I am not throwing away my shot I am not throwing away my shot I dream of life without a monarchy The unrest in France will lead to anarchy Anarchy, how you say? Are you all anarchy? <laughs> A social league advance is dead as always to pass a gold ticket. But we'll never be truly free until this is a great song. The understated 
music and then this like big shot just goes so good. I think your pants look hot. Lorenz, I like you a lot. It's hatch a plot blacker than the kettle call in the pot. Promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. Alright, so Hamilton's the guy who was like, alright, we need to start standing up for ourselves. It's dangerous, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Not throw it away, ma shot. I might be a bit late to the party, but this is like when America became independent. <laughs> History! I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow Man, this is like straight up hip hop merged with like big band musical numbers. It's crazy. That's a hype song right there, man. <laughs> that makes you want to go and do something. <laughs> Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round. All right, Frenchie. Maybe ease up on the alcohol there, buddy. So are these people that are singing, are they like classically trained singers that learn how to rap? Or are they just rappers who happen to be able to really sing and perform well? What's going on there? How do they cast this? I'm very curious. Let's have another round tonight. Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight now, That dude there um, The one in the brown jacket They're all wearing brown jackets He looks like he could throw down some serious lyrics But he has the voice of an angel So <laughs> I don't know I don't know what to think There's nothing rich folks love more Than going downtown and slumming it with the poor <laughs> That his daughter's pecky Angelica Eliza the city just to watch other guys it... oh oh really that's what they're up to is it it's bad enough that he wants to go to war people shouting in the square it's bad enough there'll be violence on our shore all right so one of them's keen for a revolution the other one is not so keen is revolution the word i'm looking for i hope so because i'm probably going to use it Multiple times throughout this. <laughs> Viva la revolucion! How funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. Like your <laughs> it's, it's one way to tell, I guess. I'm a trust fund, baby. You can trust me. <laughs> it's a great line. Lyrically, love this song. This is really, really good. And I present free thoughts on the proceedings of the Continental Congress. <laughs> is this guy? <laughs> They're playing a dangerous game. I pray that you... <laughs> I love this little story, like, no, no, go. Congress does not speak My money. dog speaks more eloquently it than me. This would have been incredibly difficult to write. I love this. A message from the king. Oh. George. George 3, isn't it? <laughs> Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. <laughs> so is the king like the jilted ex? <laughs> Remember you belong to me You'll be back You'll be back <laughs> I will send a fully armed battalion To remind you of my love da, 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 da. <laughs> King, da, you... Uh, you got a weird energy, buddy You can't go Alright, in the high note Don't change the subject <laughs> my loyal, royal subject Forever And ever <laughs> I feel like this is pretty accurate to what the monarchy's always been like though I will kill your friends and family 
to remind you. Yeah, England. <laughs> this is this is some history you got to deal with. I think. <laughs> By the way, shout out to whoever did these subtitles on the scatting because they, <laughs> they nailed it. <laughs> that was hilarious and pretty good. Again, incredibly talented singers in this. I mean, you know, this is world class level shit, so it's to be expected, but I'm impressed. I don't watch much musical stuff. Oh, so England's like, we're doing this right now. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this guy's the general. Oh, Washington's here. Now I'm the model of a modern major general, the venerated Virginian veteran, whose men are all like- All right, Washington. Christ. <laughs> He's killing it. Stamina God has granted us Hamilton won't abandish it. Yo, let's steal the cannons. He just sounded like Chris D'Elia doing Eminem just then. Slamming and flamming and napkins and namages or whatever it was. Right at midnight, Manhattan in the distance. I cannot be everywhere at once. People, I'm in dire need. So wait, the British attacked New York, like, <laughs> to take it over? That's crazy. I did not know this. A couple of suggestions on how to fight instead of fleeing west. Yes. Well, Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. Hamilton, come in. Have you met... Oh. <laughs> That's awkward. Close the door on your way out. Get out of it, Burr. <laughs> this is this is intense. This is super intense. I'm I'm fully invested in this. <laughs> <laughs> that was decent. I love the choreography throughout this as well. The dance moves they're doing in the background, like, love it. What do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. <laughs> My God. Look into your eyes in the sky, the limit I'm so who's going to marry one of these sisters? Is Hamilton going to do it or is Burr going to do it? Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. Um... <laughs> Is that the old man though? Is that Mr. Skylar? Eh, this song's okay. It obviously needs to happen. It's telling a story that's based on a real event, but I like the other songs more, I think. In New York, you can be a new... That's a great line. In New York, you can be a new man. It's borderline tongue twister, but it's very poetic as well. Post to the groom. To the groom. To the groom. To the, groom. To the bride. What is happening here? But Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face. I have never been the same. Oh, wait, they all got a thing for the Hamilton? I haven't seen any three pointers in this movie yet. Like me, as a woman who has never been satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Forget yourself. It's quite a way to start a conversation, by the way. What? I'm a girl. Oh, like Pride and Prejudice. I've seen that. He's after me because I'm a Skyler sister that elevates his status side. Have to be naive to set that aside. Maybe that is why. I'll leave you to it. Oh, yeah, that was a bit of a different spin on that little bit. My own mind, you will never find anyone as trusting or as kind if I tell her that I By the way, this lady is absolutely killing this. I keep his eyes in my life. 
So Alexander Hamilton had an affair with his wife's sister. <laughs> Is that what I'm getting from all this? Raise a glass to freedom. Hey! Something you will never see again. <laughs> all right, guys. The newly not poor of us. Yeah, that too. He's got coin now. Uh, I came to say congratulations. Spit a verse, bird. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, bird. <laughs> well, I heard you got a special someone on the side, bird. Is that so? <laughs> she's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. All right, bird. Why not? See you on the other side of the war. See you on the other side of the war. Is the other side of the war a double meaning? Why do I feel like Burr is about to join up with the Brits? He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all of Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Well. <laughs> Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and he keeps it. So this guy was pretty well off, but then had a very sudden plunge into shitsville is that right drive and so you survived and god damn it i'm willing to wait for it i'm willing to wait for it so this is him deciding that he's gonna shoot hamilton isn't it like wait for it wait for the opportunity is that where i'm going is that what i think is happening Oh, assassination attempt? Local merchants deny us equipment, assistance. They only take British money. So sing a song of sixpence. Really? So the British are like leaning hard on all the local businesses and stuff? Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee. Makes him second in command. I'm a general. Who is? Yeah. <laughs> well, Charles Lee, I don't like you. Indecisive from crisis to crisis, the best thing he could do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. So what? Washington was kind of useless at this point. Was he crooked or was he just shitting himself? Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence, do not throw away your shot. It's the ten dual commandments. It's a ten. Uh, Lauren is gonna throw down with Lee. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. <laughs> All right. You pay him in advance. You treat him with civility. You have him turn around so he can have deniability. <laughs> really? That's how they did it? All right, dog. Just look that way. Number nine. You shot him in the side, yes he you. I'm satisfied, we gotta clear the field. Go. Yeah, shouldn't you guys be fighting the British right now? Meet me inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. <laughs> or you could die and we need you alive. I am more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive. Go home. Sure, can I have a battalion? Please? I wrote to the general a month ago. No. I begged him to send you home. <sighs> and I could be in love. And we could be in love. But would be in mm, Yeah, that song didn't do it for me either. Very sweet song, but. Nah. <laughs> Oh, Lafayette gets his song. Let's go. He knows what to do when a trench ingenuity is fluent in French. I mean, so you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench? I mean, what has more resilience on matches? But Washington's the only one knows that he has a kid now. Now together we can turn the tide. Alexander Hamilton. Oh, no, but wifey's just given him this empower, impassioned plea to stay. Oh no, she's on board. All right, let's go. Clearly that song was enough. When I was given my first command, I led my men straight into a massacre. 
Washington, it's, it's a big mistake to make, dude. I make every mistake. I know that greatness lies in you, but remember from so Hamilton was just Washington's right hand man and advisor. Is that was that his like job title? <laughs> No sweat, we're finally on the field, we've had quite a run. Immigrants, we, we get, get the, the job, job done. done. <laughs> the bullets have choked on, oh, the bullets have choked on. Oh, we move undercover when we move as one. Through the night we have one shot to live another day. Alright, so there was more stealthy shit. I forget is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. I can leave my ass. Oh, he was the spy. Good work. All right. Hamilton's <clears throat> on his war tip now. He's ready to ready to win this thing. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded. White handkerchief. They're done. So no more British. They're out. Uh, I have a feeling this, there's still a lot of this story left, though. Oh, the king's here. He's back. <laughs> Piss off, king. <laughs> the price of my war's not a price that they're willing to pay. Insane. Stop spitting everywhere, king. Please, saliva control. I'm so blue. <laughs> I've got a small query for you. Uh, what do you want to know? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. Do you have a clue what happens now? <laughs> the king is like the worst ex-boyfriend of all time. Dear <laughs> Theodosia, what to say to you? Oh yeah. What's happening with him and Theodosia now? You will come of age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you. Wait, did he have a daughter called Theodosia as well? What is happening here? Ooh, Philip, when you smile, I am alone. Oh, uh, so he's talking to his child now as well. We'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. It's very, um, poetic. These two that have been adversaries throughout, very similar, very same situation, a lot of history that's very similar as well. Anyway, I like that. Oh, Jesus, what's the wife got? A letter? Usually that means the father died at war, but he is the father, so what is this? So Lawrence is dead? Is that why his old man is sending us letters? The war was already over. What? As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the- oh, He was pretty into abolishing slavery. Are you all right? I have so much work to do. They have great lighting in this. He really truly does look ghostly there. Are you aware that we're making history? This is the first murder trial of our brand new nation. The liberty, behind the liberation. <laughs> oh, Lauren is the first murder trial? So you should be. It's a war crime, I'm pretty sure. It's colonies, economies increasingly stalling, and honestly, that's why public service seems to be quality. Now practice the law, practically perfected it. So Hamilton liked to um, filibuster, not filibuster, but like go on big, long presentations. What? Talks for six hours. The convention is listless. Right, young man. Yo, who the f is this? <laughs> Why do you always say what you believe? Every proclamation guarantees Who it needs amendments It's full of contradictions So is independence, we have to start Ah, uh, so this is when they started amending the constitution, right So the first constitution, a little bit shaky Wait here and see which way the wind will blow Yeah, once again, this guy, playing the long game One who can match you for turn of phrase My Alexander Oh wait, this is not wifey, this is sister wifey. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write that you're running out of time? <laughs> yeah, so Hamilton's pen, pen to paper output. Thing of history by the sounds of it. 
Or do you want me to run the Treasury or State Department? Treasury. <laughs> Let's go. What do you got up your sleeve, Hamilton? Alexander Hamilton, Hamilton, just you This is... I'm loving this. Oh, now we get an intermission. All right. Oh, for realsies? There's a countdown? All right, well, let's talk about what we've seen so far. Hamilton is fiercely determined. Burr is cautiously patient, I feel like. Um, did Hamilton just start falling around with his wife's sister is that what happened there are we kind of just like putting a nice little bit of polish on that <laughs> the king was fantastic rest in peace to lauren i guess i don't know who he is historically maybe he's a horrible person <laughs> i hope i'm doing okay with the history here because i really i know the very vague dot points of like u.s um you know the the birth of the united states but I'm pretty much just learning nothing but new information quite a bit <laughs> throughout this. Simply must be Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Jefferson's here. <laughs> Gotta be in Monticello. Now the work at home begins. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Never thought I'd see Thomas Jefferson depicted like this. But it what did I miss? <laughs> yeah, I miss oh, oh, burst into a political abyss. Burst into the abyss. <laughs> Do the abyss. So what did I miss? Damn, man. I don't know who's playing Jefferson, but he is friggin' awesome. <laughs> Are you ready for a cabinet meeting? Okay. Oh, is this gonna become like a battle? <laughs> now place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If new uh, all right, so his financial plan's a little bit sus, is it? When Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what gonna happen when you try to tax our whiskey. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite a mic drop, but point made. Real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real. By the way, epic battles of history. Thomas Jefferson versus Alexander Hamilton. Begin. Seeds in the South. We create. They keep ranting. We know who's really doing the planting. And another thing, this the age of enlightenment. Oh shit. <laughs> That was a mic drop. Useless is two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoe fits. All right, Hamilton, easy there. We can only handle so many fire rhymes in one verse, all right? Don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? All right, I'll have a little shout out to the message by Grandmaster Flash there. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South. You need the votes. No, we need bold oh. stroke. Civil War? Is that what's happening? Wait a minute, is that... Um, Lauren? Is he playing the son now? Or is his son actually Lauren's son? No. Daddy, daddy, look. My name is Philip. I am a poet. I was wow. <laughs> Okay, is that like an old-timey flirt move? Do they call that, um, comma play? <laughs> Hamilton went away with his wifey and her sister. This is, this is a bad situation to put yourself in, Hamilton. <laughs> You're already playing both sides of that coin. No, oh, who's this now? Why does she look like trouble? There's trouble in the air. You can... 
Yes, I agree. Oh god, she's beautiful as well. This is a straight up 90s R&B song. Everything about this is 90s R&B. I wish I could say that was the last time. I said that last time. Hamilton, keep it in your pants, buddy. This is like your second situation. You made the wrong sucker a cut coach. It's time to take the pipe up the pants you unbuckled. <laughs> <laughs> I'll punch you in the face, she said. No, Just oh, was it all a big setup? It was the 1800s, though, like, late 1800s. Isn't this like. Wasn't cheating on your wife, like, pretty normal back then? <laughs> Didn't anybody, everybody not care? No, what, now he's got another one on the go? Hamilton. You horny bastard. Nobody needs to know. So he's covering up his indiscretions. But did she know about it? Was she in on it? Mr. Burr, sir. Hey, did you hear the new- Mr. Burr, sir. <laughs> and here's the piece de resistance. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. Oh, really? We just assume that it happened. But no one else is in the room where it happened. That's a badass song, man. I really, really like that. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. What, so wait, this is a whole situation where everybody's got their own version of what happened? And there's no evidence of whatever actually transpired? Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the US Capitol? Because we'll have the banks. We're in the same spot. Uh, so this is what it was all about? Like, where's the capital gonna be? In the north or the south? Of course, and this is bursting in this, because he's jealous as hell. It's a great title for this whole situation. The room where it happens. Like, I just love how kind of innocuous, but very, very heavy that title and that chorus is. And that jazzy whole setup they had there, nice work. War hero Philip Schuyler loses Senate seat to young upstart Aaron Burr. Oh, Burr's in the house. New York. Oh, Has a, the Eliza uh, actress done Disney movies? Very familiar voice. Oh, beware. The door's before the fall. The issue on the table. France is on the verge of war. Oh, round two. I'll be right out of the mystery. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I remind you that he is not Secretary of State. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. <laughs> not bad, Jefferson, not bad. Battle of the Secretaries. Let's go. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president is gonna bring the nation to the brink with the king whose head is now in a basket. Would you like to take it out and ask it? <laughs> Jesus. Lafayette's a smart man, he'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. Yeah, Lafayette's still over there, isn't he? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton. Daddy's calling. <laughs> oh, really? Jefferson. Jefferson's a bit of a uh, antagonist in this one. Burr, sir. What's going on? It must be nice. It must be nice. <laughs> to our poorest citizens, our farmers, live ration to ration as Wall Street robs them blind in search of chips to cash in. Damn, man. Lyrically, this is so good. It must be nice to have Washington on your side. Oh, so is this the guys who wanted the South to have their own thing? And put it out from inside the house. I'm in the cabinet. I am complicit in watching him grabbing at power and kissing him. Washington isn't going to listen to discipline dissidents. This is the difference. This kid is out. Damn. All right, Jefferson. We follow the money and tyranny. Tearing the weeds before the seeds of Hamilton's misdeeds. It must be nice. Mm, all right. So something up with Hamilton's financial thing, but he got married to one of the um, one of the sisters, nearly two of them. 
Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, he resigned because he's playing a bigger game. I'm stepping down, I'm not running for president. I'm sorry, what? Oh. One last time. And if we get this right, we're gonna teach him how to... So did Washington serve two times? Was that a thing back then? Or is that in one of the amendments? Now that Washington's going home, power struggle, big, you know, that big election thing. Ugh. Washington, I feel like, has kind of, he's been the, the roof, the, the ceiling of this whole thing. And Burr is going to be, you know, he's up to something. Murder is afoot, most likely. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's back. The king is back. <laughs> I wasn't aware that was something a person could do. <laughs> yeah, things are a bit different there, king. There's nobody else in their country. <laughs> oh man, they're going to eat him alive. Oceans rise. Yeah, I've never heard of John Adams before. Never heard of this guy once. Maybe it's just a super bland name, John Adams. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the king is loving this. John Adams, good luck. President John Adams, good luck. He sounds like Stewie from Family Guy. Adams administration. <laughs> Hamilton publishes his response. Sit down, John, you fat mother! Um, Hamilton, getting cranky there. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. <laughs> we have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts. Oh, follow the money. Uh-oh. Hope you save some money for your daughter and son. Your best one run back where you come from. <laughs> if I can prove that I never broke the law, do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? Oh, this is where he paid off old mate because he banged his wifey. See, that was my wife who you decided. Wow. She caught <laughs> Had me in a corner that's when Reynolds extorted me. So it was extortion, right. As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action. Are my answers to your satisfaction? All right. Good point. <laughs> that's a pretty tight defense there, Hamilton. I picked up a pen. I wrote my own deliverance. In the eye of a hurricane, there is quiet. Ooh, that's a very cool effect. They've done a great job utilizing that turntable thing they've got built into the stage there. The only way I can protect my legacy. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait. The Reynolds pamphlet. Hmm. Well, what the hell's the Reynolds pamphlet? Alexander Hamilton had a torrid affair and he wrote it down right there. I like. Oh, you bastards. Most of them in my own house. At his own house. At his own house. Damn. <laughs> Damn. We're never gonna be president now. We're never gonna be president now. Oh, Washington is furious. All the way from London. Damn. Angelica. <laughs> Valid. Valid damn. We're never gonna be president now. <laughs> Jefferson is great <laughs> in this, in this. Oh yeah, so she knows about it now as well. Uh -oh. oh, is she gonna cry and say I wasn't enough? She just likes talking about things being enough or not enough. She said, "Be careful with that one love. He will do what it takes to survive." Angelica's not even on his side now. Like, I know she wasn't on his side when she rocked up there, but she's been turned off for a while. Oh, I mean, 
she's not wrong, but also, Angelica, you were, you were on it for a while. Let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart. Oh, okay. So we really don't know what Eliza's reaction was to this. Burn. Wow, man. Eliza is... Is that hell hath no fury like a woman scorn? That right there. She just cut him out completely. Doesn't exist anymore. He was going to see a pack. Well, I go visit his box. God, you're a pop. Y'all look pretty good in your frocks. How about when I get back, we all strip down to our socks. <gasps> oh, all right. Young Hamilton... Got some moves. He refused to apologize. We had to let the peace talk cease. Where is this happening? Across the river in Jersey. Everything, Everything is legal in New Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> Time comes, fire your weapon in the air. This will put an end to the whole affair. But what if he decides to shoot them? Yeah, good. Right. Grab your pistol. Confer with your men. The duel will commence after we- I didn't do any of the rules here, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. But the wound was already infected when he arrived. Wow, now Hamilton's kid just got shot. Oh, this guy had to die twice. That's the same actor as Lauren, right? Does he have to die twice in this? Stay alive. Eliza's gonna be pissed. <laughs> That's awkward. I'm trying to grab it. I mean, you would, you would, but also, like, fair enough on her part as well. Look at where we are. Look at where we started. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work, Hamilton. <laughs> Good luck. Finding a way to make the word unimaginable a lyric is a pretty solid, um, pretty solid effort. Oh, forgiveness for old Hamilton. Fair enough, I mean, he had a couple of indiscretions there, but people back then were way worse than that. Used to work on the same staff. Wow. It might be nice. It might be nice to get Damn. Hamilton on. Oh, Hamilton's on his side. I was like, what? Wait, Washington's coming back? <laughs> it's eighteen hundred, ladies. Tell your husbands, vote Pubber. <laughs> tell your husbands. Oh God. John Adams doesn't stand a chance of whom we promoting. It's quiet uptown. Not quiet uptown anymore, man. People want to know what you think. Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir. Alexander. You created quite a stir. Sir. <laughs> I'm chasing what I want. And you know what? What? I learned that from you. Well, that's true as well. And if you were to ask me who I'd promote, no. Jefferson has my vote. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is why Burr kills him, isn't it? Jefferson has beliefs. Burr has none. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership. As your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. Ooh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I'm the president. <laughs> Thank him for the endorsement. Jefferson, why are you stirring that pot? Can't you see this man's already got murder on his mind? Ooh, this is the murder room he's talking about now. And in every place I checked, the only common thread has been your disrespect. <laughs> he's not wrong. Mr. Vice President, I am not the reason no one trusts you. No oh, one knows. They had like a Twitter beef before they 
it got physical? Was that what happened? It's letters. Oh, Hamilton just bludgeoned him with letters. <laughs> A dot ham. <laughs> we hawking. Dawn. Guns. Drawn. You're on. Oh, it's dual? That's how they did it? Oh, right. I thought it was a far more, like, calculated, nefarious murder. Come back to bed. That would be enough. I'll be back before you know I'm gone. Go back to sleep, Hamilton. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. By the way, his um his son died doing this. Are you gonna shoot at the sky, Hamilton, or are you gonna actually I guess maybe he does. Right. Now I didn't know this at the time, but we were near the, the same spot your son died, is that why? Thank you. Hamilton was wearing his glasses? Why? If not to take that the aim! It's him or me! The world will never be the same! All right, man, he's into this. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? Lawrence leads a soldier's chorus on the other side. My son is on the other side. He brings a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the sky. Wait! He... Really? He did the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Say Angelica and Eliza were both at his side when he died. Wow. I survived, but I paid for it. Yeah, you got his blood on your hands now. That's something you can't let go of. Is he the villain? Is that how he's looked at? This financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried. And I tried. Oh my god, Eliza's obsessed with the narrative. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writing. So Hamilton's story came from Eliza? So hang on, did she just cut out the part where she reacted to his cheating? <laughs> Like I threw a vase against the wall, I'll just cut that out. No, no nobody needs to know that. <gasps> what? What happened? <laughs> what was what was that bit at the end there? That's like driving the car with my missus in the passenger seat and she just gasps for no reason and I'm nearly like crash the car and it turns out there's a sale at Target. What an unbelievable cast, by the way. They had so many incredibly talented people doing this. Like, there was no weak link. Actually, there was one weak link. I'll discuss that in a bit. Book, music, and lyrics? What the hell? What book is they talking about? He wrote a book about this? Leslie Odom Jr. He was insane, man. Oh, there was a bunch of people that played multiple roles in this. That was the only... <laughs> Lawrence and Philip were the only ones I recognised. So is there an after credit scene where Nick Fury shows up and recruits Thomas Jefferson to the event? Tell your sister that she's gotta rise up When a folks like me and you gonna rise up Every city, every hood, we need to rise up Wait a minute, is there like a version of this that's sung by like all rappers? Because that's definitely Busta Rhymes I'm hearing right there. So that was Hamilton. I'm recording this outro after I finish the editing. I wanted to kind of soak this up a little bit more before just giving my immediate thoughts. You saw my reaction throughout the, uh, the, the movie, I guess we'll call it. But I watched this again in full with my partner. She absolutely loved it. She'd never seen it either. And I got to feel a bit more of it again throughout editing. So here's my thoughts. I think this is almost Aaron Burr's story at times. It feels like he is the, um, he's the protagonist of the story. And a lot of it seems to be shown through Burr's 
perspective and, and through Burr's eyes. He's the narrator, he gets top billing as well, does um, Leslie Odom Jr. And the story really showed a bunch of times where Hamilton left Burr hanging and he just didn't respect him. And that really came across and I liked that, that element of Hamilton's character because it's very flawed and also it's a great motivation for Aaron Burr. I enjoyed the ending with the reveal that the whole thing was recounted by Eliza and she was very much a uh, crucial element to not just the story but the production and everything that you've just witnessed. It was a, a great way to say and this is the woman that you've got to thank for all of this more or less and uh, I think at the end when she gasps uh, that's her dying. And that's why the show ends there because it was actually Eliza telling this story. The dancing and choreography in this was absolutely amazing. They used that turntable in the middle of the stage to perfection, especially during the um, Eye of the Hurricane song. And uh, there was some other parts with like some street lamp posts where he meets the um, femme fatale that ends up getting him extorted. I, I really liked the way they just used the set in this particular performance. And I don't have much experience with... Um, you know live theatrical production so this might be very sort of standard but for somebody that's really watching this for the first time I thought that was uh, an amazingly creative way to uh, illustrate what they were trying to say in this in this movie looking at some of the actors David Diggs as Thomas Jefferson I think he was the most entertaining I really liked his raps I really liked his energy and the attitude of that character very kind of pompous and just overall entertaining and not only did he play Thomas Jefferson but he did a great job as Lafayette uh, at the beginning of the uh, show as well so David Diggs I, I, I can't call him the MVP because that goes to somebody else but he absolutely killed it Christopher Jackson as George Washington had some very good uh, powerful moments like he really embodied the energy of being a general and holding a position of authority throughout the story that was being told. He was a very important character to the, the narrative and the story and Christopher Jackson absolutely killed it. Jonathan Groff as King George III, uh, he was amazing. Every single time he was on stage, um, from spitting while he was talking, uh, the timing of his appearances, that was like a punch, just him walking onto the stage was a punchline in itself, which I, I think that's fantastic. He had that snobby, immature demeanor uh, that just made him the perfect kind of distant uh, antagonist for the show. Not even antagonist, just observer of the, the story. Like, it was weird to see the um, goings-on with this whole conflict between England and the United States and then getting the, the king's little two cents every now and then. He was just a, a highlight of the show. Leslie Odom Jr. as Aaron Burr. I think he was the character that I connected with the most. Like, I, I think the audience was supposed to really feel bad for Burr. And even when he killed uh, Hamilton at the end, it, he was still so, like, he it, it, he didn't relish it. He didn't like it. He, he felt bad about it. They really painted Aaron Burr as a very sympathetic character during this and I'm sure that was by design and he was definitely the most interesting character of this entire show. The performance from Leslie Odom Jr. was amazing, his vo his voice is incredible and the raps and everything it was just it was great. I, I, I loved everything to do with Aaron Burr throughout this entire show. And quick shout out to Renee Elise Goldsberry who played Angelica Schuyler. Um, she has a haunting and beautiful voice is what I've written down for that. Every delivery she got to do, she absolutely nailed it. I think my favorite song of the entire show was, I wanna be in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. I love the historical context of that one. Uh, the title is so poetic and ominous and literal and I love that this song breaks down from being like a, a lesson in history to a complete mental breakdown for Aaron Burr like he is just losing his mind like the jealousy came across just crystal clear during this song and I loved it the performance and everything that came along with it um but Leslie Odom Jr just like screaming his lungs out at times and just really losing himself into that moment with um the the big band playing and everything like that that song really connected to me i i loved every single aspect of it i also enjoyed the um the rap battles whatever they were called the uh the senate 
um, hearing the, the debate, Congress debate, that's the one. I thought that was a very uh, clever way to incorporate that into this story as well. There was a lot of um, very nice little subtle nods to the history and the culture of hip hop all throughout this. And I guess that was always gonna be, I just spat a moment ago, I'm not the king. I noticed a whole bunch of things like, uh, you know, they quoted Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. There was a couple of, couple of other lyrical moments that, um, you know, were quotes from like old hip hop things, the rap battle being a part of it as well. Just a great way to sprinkle, again, a different culture into this historical thing and it's very contemporary. A great blend of all these different vibes and it just works. So there was a lot of information in this movie for me. And again, I, I'm not familiar with the historical context of this before watching this. So this was my introduction to this part of history. Like I thought Jefferson and his boys uh, like outed um, Hamilton for cheating or for paying off that dude after banging his wife. Like the way that it was done, like they seemed to be at the front of the stage performing it. And I thought that meant that after agreeing not to, they just went ahead and did it. But upon a rewatch, I can see that Hamilton was writing it down and he, he David letterman himself. Hamilton made some really dumb decisions throughout this movie, I must say. But with all that being said, uh, musical theater is a very busy form of entertainment. There's a lot happening. There's music, there's dialogue, there's story, there's, you know, costumes, there's performance and everything like that. It, there's a lot, it, it's, it's very much a, um, a very sensory overwhelming genre especially to be dropped into for the first time ever i'm sure once you've watched a few of them you start to kind of work those muscles but for me it was a uh, almost an overwhelming amount of information as as a whole but with all that being said i still enjoyed it i still followed the story i was still able to be a part of the be a part of the narrative as eliza likes to say so even though there were parts there that went over my head i i still caught more than enough to enjoy this and i think that's one of the things that makes this movie and this performance and this project that lin-manuel miranda has done uh, such a success with that being said, the one gripe that I do have with this, I gotta be completely honest, I don't think Lin-Manuel Miranda is a great dramatic actor. And what I mean by this is he was fantastic with comedy. He obviously knows this um, production more intimately than anybody else in the, in the show. So he can nail everything that he does from a musical standpoint and from a comedic standpoint. He They, they were all absolutely like, you know, perfect. But there was some really, really emotional scenes with Alexander Hamilton in this show. And sometimes it kind of took me out of it. So I would like to see a version of this with a different person in the titular role as Hamilton. I love Lin-Manuel Miranda and all of his work from Encanto, Coco, and, and all the, uh, so every single song from Hamilton was, it's very much his style and I love it and I think it's fantastic. But some of the dramatic scenes, it did take me out of it a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this reaction to Hamilton. This has been on my list to do for a long time and I'm I'm disappointed that it took me so long to get to it. The editing has been a bit of a pain. And again, if you do want to watch a full length reaction to this, like a watch along style, go to patreon.com slash FWCI and you can watch me bop along to every single song in the show and see firsthand the amount of fun that I had in this one. So patreon.com slash FWCI if you're interested in that. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already and let me know in the comments. What else do you want to see on the channel what kind of movies or tv shows or random videos you got a random video that you think's pretty good let me know in the comments i'll give it a look as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace